Hey guys, it's Mario from WATL and I've been working diligently and I've been having a lot of fun actually doing a product design. And today we're gonna to introduce a second Goliath bag. So you've seen the first hard shell. We went over through all the details. Now I want to show you guys the second one that's coming out. You'll notice that this one, similar to the other one, has the Molly system, I'm sorry. And it will have the whole Velcro patch because we are gonna be doing exclusive patches. So we are still making some adjustments. This one actually is gonna come with a drink holder on the side. We do have the belt straps, which I talked about before. I'm not sure if you remember the importance of the belt strap, especially when you're carrying axes. Um, you know, and, and you don't want to be kind of moving around with that. And this helps maintain all that and keep all the axes in place. So you can tighten it up, loosen it up as much as you want. It keeps everything in order. And the thing that I love about this bag is similar to the other Goliath bag is the quality. I know it's hard to see in video. Now I did a lot of research and I think I've explained this in the last video. When you have companies like Yeti using, let's say 900D, and you have other high-end military bags going for hundreds of dollars that are using at maximum 1000D is the highest I've actually seen. This one is higher quality than that. The material is again called 1680D, the highest possible quality, most durable quality you can possibly get just short of making it bulletproof using Kevlar. Now, this is extremely high quality stuff. All the zippers, are fully waterproof as well. We have a waterproof shell. I actually, I wish I had a bottle of water with me. I dumped some water just to double check. It all just kind of trickles down, similar to how you would have it when you wax a car. So when you wax a car, you see kind of the water beating off. This is the exact same thing. Now, the thing that's nice about this bag that I like is we created a ton of compartments. Like we got keychain holders, we got pen holders, and we created extra pocketing systems on the inside to be able to hold a lot more stuff a lot more securely. Again, zippered pockets on the inside, bottle holders on the outside. And even on the inside, we have the ability to be able to kind of strap in a lot more items, whether it's a laptop that you're putting in there, whether it's any sort of you know paperwork, like you, it's literally a border grade, military grade bag meant for ax luring, but you can use for everyday use. And so this one has a lot of compartments similar to the Goliath design. It is going to come with a Velcro strap system where you're able to adjust the shelving units however you'd like. It's going to have the same bag where you're able to store it and it's going to have the clips as well where you can keep all the axes tight from moving around. You'll notice at the top, same thing. The ability, it'll have two holes for big axes, but generally speaking, like these are S-wings and they're big, right? S-wings uh, are longer handled axes. You're able to fit them comfortably and they're able to hold it well. And it doesn't feel like it's a lot of weight. It's got a lot of kind of strap systems on the inside. Now, if we look at the side, what's kind of hard to tell is that it does have a laptop compartment. So you can comfortably fit a you know, 15 or 17 inch laptop in here. Again, a ton of compartments that we put in here. We have strapping systems in place. The one thing that we are doing and we are improving, the length came out a bit shorter than what I had originally estimated, which I think is going to be much cooler is we're going to have a system where you can actually put a cap over the handle. So the idea is you're able to protect the outside of the handle from the elements. We're gonna increase the size of it just so it fits all handle types and sizes. And you're able, so when the ax is actually sticking out, you're able to basically cover, and I'll show it on this one. And I can't do it on the general just because the general's slightly longer. So we're adjusting the length. We're gonna make it an adjustable length. And the idea is, and this is part of what we're adjusting too, is the hole ended up being a bit too small, but the idea is you're, you're gonna be able to cover the handle so it doesn't get exposed to the elements in case it is raining maybe, or, or it is being exposed to sunlight on, on the outside. So it keeps the wood from maybe cracking, again, being exposed to the elements. So a lot of cool stuff, a lot of great features. I think you guys will really, really like this model. Again, two completely different designs. One is a hard shell system. The other one has a soft shell on the top part. But again, they're both extremely durable. Molly system throughout. And one of the coolest projects I've worked on is designing kind of these two bags specifically for axe throwing. So I think they're both gonna be a huge hit. We're working on developing uh, an exclusive color for it as well. This one's coming out with an exclusive color. That's already been set. The design and the color system looks awesome. This one will come out in black. 
likely a military dark green, which looks absolutely phenomenal. And uh, we're gonna come out with one more surprise color. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you sign up on our website. If you haven't already, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, subscribe on YouTube. We'll be dropping more information on when it's gonna be released. It's in production right now, at least uh, the original Goliath bag is currently in production. So that should be out and we should probably have it in on hand, depending on shipping delays, in probably about 45 to 60 days. This one's probably gonna be about maybe 60 to 90 days out. We're still modifying this initial prototype with some small tweaks to enhance it, to make it uh, as good as the original. And so two totally different designs. I'm hopefully gonna be working on a third, but I think these backpacks are, you know, the, the type that will last a lifetime and a, should hopefully be the last bag you'll ever need for axe throwing. So hope you guys enjoy. Again, really appreciate your support, everyone. If you have any questions, comments, make sure you drop them down below. Take care.